Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Santa's Weekly Check-In. I'm Colin, behind the camera we got Dylan. What's up? Today we're going to be flipping through records. Flipping through records and flipping through records. This is the, the, the longest flip through we've ever had. I'm not going to say we will ever have because who knows what the future holds, but there's a lot to flip through. Uh, as always, if you see anything you like, you can hit the DMs on Instagram, give the shop a ring, or just cruise in. We're open 11 to 8, seven days a week. Uh, without further ado, let's get to some staff picks. I went with this one. This is, listen, this is a, just a little quiet, gentle record. The sidelong jams, three people playing on here. Very mellow, very calming, and I feel like, uh, you know, now is the time to, to, to calm down and mellow out and listen to some background music. And that's what that one was for me. Mellowed me out on uh, on my days working. What did you got for the people, Dylan? Surprise, we're both going the same route with okay. different energy. Right. Uh, mine's uh, the new Tony Williams Lifetime Believe It record, uh, Crazy Drummer. Uh, it's more like uh, just loud jazz, really. I mean, right. like there's like shreddy guitar going on, too. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's just a, it's an insane record. I really like Tony Williams as a drummer. So right. that's on my own. There you go. There we go. Okay, should we get into, are we, we ready to, to walk to Mordor here? Yeah. That's the equivalent of this. Yes, That's why I'm sure. preparing the flip through. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> you know what I was playing before I came over? Donkey Kong? No. <laughs> uh, no, I was playing uh, Smash TV, for, like an arcade port of it. Smash TV. You don't know Smash TV? Do I have like a disproportionate understanding of the uh, popularity of Smash TV? You probably, I don't know what Smash, <laughs> I know Smash Brothers. Smash TV, it's like an arcade game. It's like top down. The premise, it's like, it is a fucking evil game because it's the, it's like the most irresistible game you could possibly pitch to a kid in like <laughs> a post Robocop world. Or like, um, you know, it's like a game show and you just annihilate. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this is. And there's like blood and gore and stuff. <laughs> it was like, you know, late 80s, early 90s. So uh -huh. It's not like, you know, uh, super graphic or anything. Mm -hmm. um, there's even a guy like uh, who comes on screen and goes, I buy that for a dollar. <laughs> so it's like very much pitched towards like um, just a childhood brain that's interested in that. Very zeitgeisty, I guess. Yeah. But like any arcade game from that time, it's just based on bilking you for your quarters. You know, there's no way to get good at Smash TV. I think we're just scratching the surface now of like the relaxing, like calming effects of playing arcade games without having to actually put quarters in. Like if you had to put quarters in in an actual machine, you would hate it. Yeah. But playing those games where like you just, you know, free play or whatever, you know, just walk through the game. You could die as much as you want. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. There's something calming about that. Do you think there's anyone who's uh, would be relaxed by watching records being flipped through? Like an ASMR thing? Maybe. Want to try that one day? Just no commentary, just audio of the yeah really close get like to a mic. really nice like close <laughs> mic and like put it really close to the uh to the records flipping yeah try not to breathe into the mic or are you supposed to breathe into the mic i don't know i think if they just want straight flip you just just to flip no breathing hold your breath for 45 seconds maybe we could be pioneers of just asmr record flipping <laughs> ASMR isn't the word, but just like, you know, like calming. Uh, like calm? What's that? Isn't there like a Netflix thing where they just have like a like a fire burning? You just look at a fireplace burning? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that. It's fish in a tank. Is that calming? Yeah. I mean, if you, real fish in a tank is calming, you just look at them. Oh, not digital fish? Not, uh, it's not CGI. You don't need to get <laughs> Skywalker <funny>. Ranch involved. <laughs> you just film, you just film <laughs> the goddamn fish. And you, you you watch it when you want to relax. Adult Swim did that. Fish oh. Center, but it was different because there was commentary. Oh, they had like bands playing shit. Yeah. I don't want Dying Fetus to play. Yeah, while but sometimes there's no band. There's just on. commentary. They make the fish play games. But sometimes it's just the fish. They don't make the fish play games. The fish obviously do not know there's a game going on, but like... <laughs> they're not athletes. Yeah. They're, it's like, oh, will this fish go through the hoop? No, he doesn't go to the hoop. The other fish gets through the hoop. Five points, something like that. No, don't watch the bands. You don't have to watch the bands play. Well, you, you've you made a believer out of me. I'm kind of sold. All right, we'll watch it. We'll figure it out. Anyway. Uh, you said survive the holidays? Did I survive? Yeah. No. This is this a hologram I'm talking to? Yeah, I'm like... Spectral? Yeah, I'm like what you would call like a melted person. I'm just like... Dead. I'm numb right now, dude. <laughs> I'm literally numb. It has been pretty brutal, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, just no slow, I'll go. Yeah. It's sad, and it's sad that all these shows are canceling, but... 
<laughs> I don't know, bro. I'm mm -hmm. tired. I'm old, dude. <laughs> You're old? I don't know. You know, I was so concerned for all this time of turning into like an old man, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm very um, aware of, you know, as a, as a 40 year old man. Yeah. It's creeping in. The, the option to go whatever an old man is, is there. But what no one expected uh -huh. is turning into an old woman, which is really what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'm so good. I just want to watch my stories and, and cuddle, curl up in a blanket. Your stories being Columbo? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just want to watch Columbo and get in a blanket. That's how, dude, that's how I am. When I'm watch, when I'm at house watching. Yeah. I've been, wa I've been curling in a blanket and then I watch Ink Master and just be like, this sucks. Why don't you watch Ink Master with me? I'd love to watch Ink Master. Because they have the Paramount app and oh. we don't and that's so stupid. I hate these goddamn apps taking over everything. I know. That's a terrible show. It is a terrible show. <laughs> I hate the show. Is it? Is any, Is Dave Navarro still on it? I think so. He has to be. He's the face of Ink Master. Well, yeah, but I mean, maybe he just helped him get started. That's true. I did. I, I talked about Ink Master with two of my friends, one of which was like, why is a, like, he's like, the show obviously sucks. Yes. And he was like, I don't understand why Dave Navarro's on it. And I was like, well, one, Dave Navarro, I'm going to say, has tattoos. Two, yeah, like some, though. You know, he's not someone you associate with, like, a heavily tattooed man. But he has tats. Yes. Two, he's hot. It's All right. Hot, hot no, hot. no arguments there. Yeah. Three, I think it's because he has some sort of acting credit to himself where he can, like, remember lines. Okay, like, so yeah. not a credit necessarily, but... Yeah, yeah, because like um, he's not a he's not a, a stone cold buffoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been so long since I've seen an Ink Master. They 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 get it they get assigned jobs to do right. Yes. And then like okay, octopuses is the theme this week. Yeah. Draw a sick ass octopus on these people. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, that tentacle's fucked up, dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah. And like fuck, it just starts crying. <laughs> and I, or my favorite is when they like when they fight back. What the fuck are you talking about? That's clean. No, it's not, dude. Look at that. That's I horrible. forgot that. They say clean after everything. Yeah, it's like yeah, the yeah. only positive descriptor they have. <laughs> those, line is those lines are looking pretty clean. All Thick right. and bold. Yeah, the face is clean. How many seasons deep into Ink Master are you? I'm in five now. You know, it's so repetitive that yeah. I just close my eyes and then I'll wake back up. I'm like, oh shit, all right. We're at the season finale. <laughs> and, and it just stays consistently trash, right? Yeah, like, it's and, never fun. Like, it's only fun when they're like, legitimately beefing. Like, they're, yeah. they're like fighting. Which sometimes they'll like make them do shit that doesn't make any sense. Right. That's like my favorite. It's always like, go to this grocery store, buy some ingredients, and then you're gonna have to make lasagna. Then on top of the lasagna, it's gonna have to be um, art on top of the sauce. Oh God! <laughs> they haven't done that. That's my my fantasy. If I keep okay. watching all these seasons, is that they're forced to cook? Yeah, it feels like it's kind of like <laughs> locked in in terms of like how wacky it can get. Yeah, it's not like uh, that that Puff Daddy making a band show where they can just get <laughs> fucked wild. Yeah, it's kind of your 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 yeah your limited limited potential is what I'm getting at here. Yeah. But should be good. I'll down to rewatch season four. I don't. I don't need to see. I don't need to see you anymore. Because I passed out during the entire season. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the quotes, watches, and quotes. Yeah, yeah. I watched some of it. I'll just pass out at some point because the house is cold and I'm a, like a bear. Once it gets cold, I yeah. just fall asleep. All right, that was a lot. Congrats to everyone who made it through the sojourn. We're we're at Mordor now. There's an eye. It's involved. It's a, it's a whole process. Uh, no questions this week. And uh, heads up, there will be no video next week, as Monday is our esteemed editor's birthday. Uh, but if you want any questions answered on the week after that, leave a comment in the YouTube video, and uh, we'll address it next time we film. Uh, everyone, thanks for watching. Peace. Flipping through records and flipping through records.